Okay, uh, so we've got a really beautiful day here in southern Indiana, so I figured I'd roll out the uh, 64 Triton, do a quick walk around video, a uh, cold start, so on so forth, give you a little bit of an idea of what the bike is. Um, basically this is a 1964 uh, Norton Atlas uh, chassis, which is a uh, the slimline feather bed frame, uh, running shoulder shocks in the rear, the proper for the the uh, Manx style and the Triton, the early Triton style. This is a uh, this is an Avon vintage style tread tire, brand new, uh, new tube. Same way with the Avon Speedmaster in the front with a new tube also. Alloy rear fender, uh, Bates style tail light, uh, proper style seat, Manx oil tank with the Monza cap. Uh, this is a tank shop tank from Scotland with a Monza cap also. Convertible motor plates, uh, like vintage uh, set of engine plates to properly mount that engine in the frame. We've got a uh, just a parallel twin Triumph uh, 650 engine, 20 thousandths over, um, with the uh, Hepalite pistons. It's a 10 to 1 motor, splayed port head, uh, dual PWK carburetors, 32 millimeters. Um, got Anderson pegs, got an oil filter relocator on it. Uh, rims got a little bit of rust on them. I was going to switch to uh, Akron alloy rims anyway, but this is a conical rear wheel, hub assembly brake. Um, got a double actuating front Triumph uh, shoe, uh, front hub, air cooled. Uh, just a Triumph front fender. It's been uh, bobbed, giving it the uh, kind of a sportier look. Uh, oil drip grips, simple throttle, clip on bars. Got bumpers here on the tank for on a real, real tight turn so it won't bump the tank. Uh, Triumph headlight, uh, alloy headlight mounts. Anyway, this is a reverse pattern shift, also, so you know it's a one down, three up. Bike shifts great, real smooth, clutch works great. Got a, uh, a Paison electronic ignition system from New Zealand. It's a great, uh, great ignition, also, it makes it real easy on a cold start fires right up. This is a one kick bike. Um, as you can see this is a nice cold start. Hasn't been started yet today. Started yesterday and rode it around a little bit. First time I've had it out this year actually. Um, look at this side. Got a high pipes. Uh, I've got Dunstall reverse megaphone mufflers that are open chamber. It's got a real good healthy note to it. Got 16 gauge aluminum uh, heat shields on the uh, on the pipes. After the bike gets ridden for a while, uh, or if it's been in storage for a while, I get a little bit of oil from the front push rod tube O-ring. Uh, just a little bit of trickle. Might notice a spot on the floor. Uh, if, if there is, it's about that big around from where it'll, it'll drip down. Again, you know, it's typical Triumph. That's really the only oil leak that I've noticed. Um, it's got a web coal cooler over there on the other side. I don't know if I focused in on that real good, but it does. Um, yeah, so anyway, let's uh, let's give it a cold start. I'm gonna flip the chokes on. One there. One over here. I'm gonna turn the gas on, which is the brass petcock right here. Actually, I turned it on already, so it's on. And we're gonna turn the ignition switch to the on position. And I'll give him a kick. Chokes off right there. This is a headlight indicator when your headlights are on.
there's a look at the Triton. Real smooth, crisp acceleration. Uh, it's a wonderful bike, a lot of fun to ride. Always gets tons of attention. Uh, bike still has its VIN number on the, on the uh, stock frame and it's titled off of that number. It's also had a custom plate made with the same numbers of the frame, so everything matches the title. Thanks for watching and best of luck.